all for being with us uh, today. Today we're taking another important step in helping people escape homelessness by expanding a terrific safe parking program. You know, as we were talking, when people think of a homeless person, they usually imagine someone on the streets or in a shelter. But many people who are in San Diego who are struggling are staying in their vehicles as a place of last refuge. And many of these cars are filled with families and with people who go to work during this, the school day or during and kids that go to school during the school day. But our current laws don't allow them to stay parked in one place while they sleep. And moving from one location at night makes their days harder. It makes it more difficult for them to get out of the cycle of homelessness. And so today we are making it a little bit easier for them by announcing the expansion of this safe parking program. And Dreams for Change, and I can't say enough about this organization, has been operating a safe parking program here at the Jewish Family Services Joan and Irwin Jacobs campus for a little over a year. And today in collaboration with these two great community partners, we're expanding this program by adding an additional 20 vehicles. So now this location will be able to help more than 100 people every single night. This program includes showers, restrooms, and security. And most important for our long-term goals, it includes house, housing counseling navigators to help people get off into permanent supportive housing. That's the number one goal. And that's what we need. And this is what's going to help reduce homelessness in our region. Because if people can't stabilize their short-term situation, it's much, much more difficult to secure their long-term future. And additionally, thanks to the collaboration of Council Member Chris Kate, I'm pleased to share that we are also expanding the program to a second lot in District 6. Council Member Kate recognizes that homelessness is not isolated in just one part of our city. And so we brought forward ideas for several locations in his district. The second lot will be located off of Arrow Drive and will be able to accommodate 60 cars. That means another 100 people will get the help that they need. The sec that second location is going to open next week. And this good news wouldn't be possible without the efforts of some truly great San Diegans. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Teresa Smith of Dreams for Change, whose vision seven years ago has helped thousands of people. And our Jewish Family Service CEO, Michael Hopkins, and his entire team. And MG Properties Group, who generously donated toward expanding the services of Dreams for Change that are helping to provide for families who are looking for that permanent home. This has been a partnership. This is a program that works. And to be able to see um, the help that it means, particularly for families, uh, I think is so much optimism for us. We are all working together, as I said, to get people into permanent supportive housing. And with that, I'd like to invite Council Member Chris Kate to come forward and say a few words. Chris? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and good morning, everybody. Homelessness looks different in each neighborhood. In my district, homelessness is families sleeping in their car or individuals residing in our canyons. These are children doing homework in their car, mothers trying to put their kids to bed, and fathers applying to become a police officer. I believe District 6 needs to be part of the solution that helps provide services and to it, those individuals and families most in need. It is crucial that these vulnerable individuals, particularly those who have recently become homeless, be connected to services, entered into the coordinated entry system, and be given the help they need to find permanent housing. That is why last month I released a memo that identified four vacant parcels in District 6 outside of the downtown area that could be utilized for homeless services and housing. I want to thank the mayor for accepting our recommendation to have a new safe parking zone in District 6 and expand the one already here at Jewish Family Services. This provides a safe and secure space for these folks to get a good night's sleep and to receive the services they need to find a home. I want to thank again the mayor's office for working with our staff, the staff of Jewish Family Services and Dreams for Change on an expedited timeline to make this a reality. This expansion of this existing program cannot be done without again Jewish Family Services and Dreams for Change and their willingness to raise the funds needed for a housing specialist 
And I want to thank also the donors who are willing to invest in this great program. We cannot do this without you. This is not only a downtown problem, but a regional issue that requires regional solutions. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And next, I'd like to invite Teresa Smith, who is CEO of Dreams for Change, who's going to share with you a few words of uh, how this remarkable program works. Good morning, everyone. My name is Teresa Smith, and I am the CEO and founder of Dreams for Change in San Diego's Safe Parking Program. First, I would like to express my gratitude to Mayor Faulkner and his staff, Council Members Chris Kate and his staff, in recognizing the Safe Parking Program as a key solution to assisting those who are homeless and living in their vehicles. When we first started this program over seven and a half years ago, we wanted to provide more than just a place to park overnight. We felt it was essential to provide individualized services to help our participants move back into housing. The program operates nightly from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. with case managers on site each night constructing an action plan with participants placing emphasis on permanent housing solutions, employment, emergency supports, and financial education. We work with multiple service providers to ensure our participants have the resources to be successful. Beyond the work of our case managers, the program serves as a place for our children to complete their homework, develop friendships and play, and for individuals to share their stories, develop their own friendships, and provide each other support. Though we have experienced many great successes, operating this program has not come without its challenges. Little over a year ago, one of our site's property was being sold, forcing us to send 40 vehicles back to the streets for two months. After searching for nearly three months for a new location, I received a call from Jewish Family Services, expressing interest in hosting the program on their campus. We quickly embraced by the Jewish Family Service team, and through this new partnership, we have been able to strengthen the client services, which brings us to today's expansion. Since opening our first site, we have assisted approximately 200 individuals and families each year. With the City of San Diego's support and our collaboration with Jewish Family Services, we will more than double our capacity, which will result in more than 650 individuals and families receiving assistance in this upcoming year. Beyond just increasing the number of vehicles we can host, through our partnership, we are increasing the level of services offered to our participants strengthening their chances for successful permanent housing stabilization. We believe strategically aligning resources and expertise across sectors, we can make a significant impact in reducing the number of individuals being affected by homelessness. The Safe Parking Program is a successful example of multiple organizations working together towards a solution. Once again, I would like to thank Mayor and the City of San Diego for taking these important steps to help families achieve housing stabilization. For those needing assistance, you can find more information at our website, dreamsforchange.org, or call 211. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And I, and I also, uh, again, can't say enough and thank you to our Jewish Family Services, which has stepped up and help to offer their beautiful campus as a location of which to run this program. And now I'd like to introduce the CEO of JFS, Michael Hopkins. Michael? Good morning. I'm Michael Hopkins, CEO of Jewish Family Service. Welcome to the Joan and Irwin Jacobs campus. I need to begin with a heartfelt thank you to Mayor Faulkner and Council Member Chris Kate. Without your leadership, determination, and confidence in our agency and our work, this partnership would not have been made possible. I also want to thank each of you for coming out uh, in the evening and meeting our clients, meeting the individuals who are here in the parking lot. Um, I know you saw firsthand um, how the program makes a difference for the people that we serve. Last night, 40 cars uh, parked on our campus in a safe, welcoming environment. Uh, we talk about cars, but this is not about cars. This is about San Diegans, young and old individuals and families. For over a year now, we have personally seen what can happen when safe parking with support services such as case management, food assistance, access to clean bathrooms and showers. It makes a huge difference. Our campus is a safe place to come home. Many after work, after school, they grab a bite and then off to sleep, off the street, in a quiet neighborhood. And candidly, each night, 
there is a neighborhood here created. Uh, children are doing their homework, they're playing, families are taking their dog for a walk. In addition to the significant investment made by the City of San Diego, I'd like to personally acknowledge MG Properties Group for stepping up generously to fund a housing specialist for the next two years. We are proud of this innovative public-private partnership, which thanks to the housing specialists will make a measurable difference moving clients quickly from our campus into stable housing. For the majority of those turning to Jewish Family Service for help, housing affordability is the number one issue. And this new position will help ensure that individuals and families receive specialized help to secure stable, affordable housing in our community. This is truly a life-changing partnership for the city, for Dreams for Change, and for Jewish Family Service. This larger partnership further supports our overall commitment to homelessness and to building a stronger, healthier, more resilient San Diego. Safe parking is a critical investment as it targets those just entering homelessness or those that are homeless for the very first time. Many, if not all, are here because of the high cost of housing in our community. Many, once back in a home, um, lead little services going forward. All of, us are here to, all of us here today are aware of the complexities regarding the homelessness problem. All of us are aware that available housing, particularly affordable housing, is at the core. Only together, with each of us doing our part, can we address this issue. Thank you again to the city, MG Properties, for your investment, Dreams for Change, for your leadership in addressing this need over seven and a half years ago. We are proud to be working together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, thank you. This is all about addressing short-term challenges, but leading to that long-term solution. And I can't say enough. Michael just said that this has been a, a true public-private partnership, and it has. And Mark, I don't know if you wanted to come up and say a few words at MG Properties. Uh, and come on up, please do. Thank you. Come on, introduce yourselves. Sure. Hi, uh, I'm uh, Mark Lieberman. I'm the founder and CEO of MG Properties, my wife Hannah, and we are a San Diego based multifamily investment group. We have apartments throughout the Western United States, including a major presence in San Diego. We are San Diego based. And Hannah and I have been long term supporters of Jewish Family Services and have seen the great work that. Jewish Family Services does, and in a recent tour of Jewish Family Services, and as Michael explained the, um, some of the programs, the homeless program here really captured our hearts, knowing the issues that go on with homelessness being in the apartment business like we are. So we were thrilled to be able to step up and help support and expand the program, and certainly greatly appreciate the mayor, uh, City Councilman Kate, the great work that Teresa's doing uh, to help make this program bigger, better, and again, it's, it's an honor for us to be part of this uh, and really look forward to seeing this grow and serve many more people in the future. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Just in conclusion, from building more affordable housing to improving mental health and education services in the region, it takes all of us working together. Um, so we are continuing to work as we expand not this program but engaging others uh, to make sure that our business community, other cities in the region, the county, together working as partners to play a bigger role, to work even more closely together and to get even uh, more creative. It is imperative. It is the right thing to do. Um, so thank you all very, very much. Can't wait to expand this program. And any of us will be uh, available, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for any uh, questions one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Thank you, guys.